we're back. And lagging out again. Anyways. We're coming at thing from the top this time instead of the bottom. Random battle. Switched out. Gongle. Back in the party again. The reason for that will be obvious shortly. When next he can actually attack. But that also switch some speed items back to Kongle. Because he definitely needs them. Okay, apparently we didn't get a chance to demonstrate. But he just learned a new edition. By new edition I mean his final edition. Say his final edition. Well, it's not quite as effective as uh, Rose's was, which is another reason why I didn't use him in that fight with the Super Farage. This is the Dragon Block Staff! It doesn't look very impressive. Can we really constrain the Divine Dragon with this? You can never tell the size of the magical power from the size of the object. The power of this staff alone has been sealing off the Divine Dragon for more than 10,000 years. I see. Then when we take this back and deploy our defense of the Royal Capital, the Divine Dragon will be no match for us. It won't be as easy as you imagine. The Divine Dragon is not the same as other dragons. Even with the Staff and us Dragoons, we will have reason for thanks if we can seal him back in. Is Lloyd taming such a monster? Talking about that, I don't think it is possible. The Divine Dragon would never give in. They couldn't kill him either. That's why he was sealed in. It's way beyond Lloyd's ability to deal with. Then it means Lloyd has not taken any action yet? Maybe he cannot act. There is no sign he is going after the next moon object yet. The moon Object? You must have it in Mili Sensu, don't you? A divine object with a name starting with Moon? I don't want to talk about it. How come? It's not your business. Just focus on how you can bring the staff back now. Okay. I'm getting it. All right, Meru, do your wingly thing. Okay. That is a good question. It is a freaky looking thing. Dropping out of the ceiling on us. But this will be where we get to show off Gongle's final edition, which isn't even completed yet, which is another reason why it wasn't good for the last fight, but this fight is actually much easier. 
Yeah, the optional boss is harder than this boss. Well, if you go for a glitzing. But if you can glitz the other one, you can glitz this one too. I'll show you what I mean. Because you just hammer away with powerful attacks like that. From all characters. Bone Crash! Congo's new edition! Bone Crush and Inferno both look cool. Pursuit, not so much. Okay. What's he doing? Wind Magic. Oh, well, that is Congo's weakness. But. I've had him with a legend cask for quite a while now. So it didn't even hit him. See, he's already in the yellow. Now, the Grand Jewel can decrease your level temporarily for the battle only. But, if you do this right, you just hammer away, because now he's in the red already. See, I just killed him. He didn't even get a chance to use that ability. He has it, he didn't get a chance to even use it. Blew him right away. Just glixing the Grand Jewel right there. And Dart learning a new addition, which I'll have to equip him with. Here we are with the Dragon Block Staff, that just disappears into Hammer Space. Grab, disappear. Wh where'd it go? Not very well thought out there, however... It, I actually don't know what the however is. It is a good item, though. But that doesn't exactly fit with the however. I think I was going for that, but realized it didn't really work. Yeah, shortcut only works for getting back. As you can hop down, but you just can't hop up. Equip him with that. Uh, his shell's hex hammer is almost at its max level. And Meru can start working on the Cool Boogie move. Cool Boogie edition. Yeah, I guess... Congo was, uh... Maxed, or close enough to maxed that... That fight did it. So... Put... Meru with her dancer's shoes again. And give Congo the combat shoes so it can give the bandit shoes to Shell. Cause those are the two we'll be working on training now. Okay. Make our way out of the Forbidden Land again. Random battles can delay this, however, but they make up for it with the experience and gold. Yes. 
Cool Boogie. The first of Mero's additions to get away from the clumsiness. It's a more complex edition, so it's not boring like Hammer Smack. And it's not clumsy like Hammer Spin. Oh. The boring edition was Double Smack, not Hammer Smack. It just sounds like she says Hammer Smack sometimes. Hammer Smack and Hammer Spin is the edition names. That better just be kind of stupid. Yeah, as Shell's picked up his Omni Sweep edition. So, time to get working on that. Oh boy. Yeah, it can't be like Divine Dragon. We're, we're way the heck over somewhere else in the Forbidden Land. Who's wreaking havoc in Millie Senzu? Did the ground shaken here? You know, what is happening back in Millie Senzu? Place like Deningrad. What's been going on? Well, we've been doing this in the Forbidden Lands. I think we're gonna find out. Very soon. What do the Winglies know? gonna send us to Deningrad, but there's concerns over whether he has enough power to do it. Okay, they're showing up for some reason, and we looped back around for some reason. Well, at least now there's more winglies here, so they can help. One wingly can't send us to Deningrad. Multiple winglies can. And time to be quiet for cutscenes. <laughs>